Sup guys, we're gonna be reacting to the shy guy. And you might have seen this video. You better watch this. Then no, no, let's do this. When an anomaly is first detected by an SCP Foundation field agent, it's up to Dude. the Foundation's mobile task forces to tag and bag the impossible. Whoa, that's cute! I mean, that's good. Oh my god, Sometimes they killed these it. Retrievals are uneventful. Hmm. That's a lot of dead. Especially when they're dealing with brutal forces of nature, like SCP 096. Known as the Rake. A creature that, from the very first interaction with the Foundation, had a reputation for being The Rake was Shy Guy, and now he be became the Rake, also known as the Skinwalker. First sparked the Foundation's interest, and they were certain that they had an anomaly on their hands. Two Whoa. retrieval teams, Zulu 9A and Zulu 9B, were dispatched to secure the Zulu 9A took the lead in a Why do they want to contain entities? They're just gonna die. Machine guns and carrying an AT-4 anti-tank launcher. Anti-tank? Or so they thought, as they established a visual on SCP-096 while two clicks away from the target. They couldn't get a clear line of sight on the creature, but it appeared to be stationary. Dawson, he was making they have to. Okay, right? Little did they know that SCP-096 was just looking away from them. Facing towards them, in a whole different purpose. Z-9A to find out. The team landed their helicopter next to the creature and were shocked to see that it was completely naked, in spite of the sub-zero temperatures all around them. The creature was unnaturally thin, as though it had been starved for weeks. With it's actually the rain, because he has a the face, that the creature's arms must and he has long arms, arms like the rain. It's also nature and insubstantial body mass. So he is the actual skinwalker known as the rain. Zulu 9A's captain was the lone yeah. survivor of the incident, as he was lucky enough to be looking away when the creature turned on his team. The rest of the squad ended up staring eye to eye with SCP-096, and from that moment on, it was an awesome. The creature began to whimper, and cry. You guys are not going so near it! Way that human. Oh boy, he crying! Shoot! SCP-096 entered a murderous frenzy and began tearing into the hapless squad. Oh my god. While its flesh and organs did seem to take damage as a result of the barrage of 50 caliber rounds from the helicopter mounted machine guns, its skeletal structure remained intact and it continued its own. Oh no, he's gonna die. Tearing the team limb from limb, even after they blown practically all the flesh from the creature. The AT-4 anti-tank launcher limb proved from limb, he tears the team limb SCP from limb? Limb from limb? while it was in attack mode. And it was only after slaughtering the entire team that it returned to Astasana State. Nobody knows exactly what the creature did to Zulu. Oh my god. No trace of the team was left behind. Zulu 9B touched down soon after, and with a brave warning from the captain not to look at the creature's face, they were finally able to subdue it. A bag was placed over SCP 6's face, which seemed to soothe it enough to move it to a nearby Foundation facility. Little did they know. They just obtained one of the deadliest SCPs of all time. While it may it was one of the deadliest SCPs and the scariest. They get out and cause more violence. They obtained it. Research and containment procedures for the SCP-096 were put under the command they of the They have obtained the SCP. It's his job to find out exactly what this being was capable of. The more he tested, He's gonna the more end he realized that they were dealing with something true. Disposable defense personnel were used to figure out exactly what it was that caused the creature to enter its attack mode. Just as it had during the initial retrieval mission, SCP-096 went berserk when any of the attending personnel saw its face. In this stage, it would enter a period of considerable and unstoppable distress from one to two minutes, covering its face and around the world. When the period of distress Wait ended, up. the creature would Guys, slaughter everyone. Wait here. Let's just continue. Class that had seen its face, and just like the Zulu 9 no trace of their bodies would be known. Dr. Dan was horrified Whoa. and intrigued by this phenomenon. The creature killed anyone that saw its face. Seeing its face equals death, that's scary. 
Let's just continue. Ignore the other voices. Indirect depictions of the creature's face, such as images and videos. Dr. Dell is desperate to find them. More D-class personnel were brought in to test this, to frighten the results. Oh, no. Dr. Dan found that the creature did indeed still enter attack mode when people saw pictures and videos of SCP-096's face. The creature seemed to have an innate sense of when people were viewing these representations, even when it should have had no conceivable way of knowing. It didn't matter how far away or how many barriers were in place between the viewer and the creature, the attack mode would still activate. And once it did, it seemed as though nothing Why did the creature scream? Hunting down the one who saw his face. Whoa. With all of this new data, special containment procedures were devised to keep the creature safe and walking through. Its cell was a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter airtight steel cube. How many 5 meters are that? pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure that SCP-096 remained in its cell without risking anyone having visual contact Close. with the creature's face. All cameras and video equipment were strictly forbidden, and weekly checks for any cracks or holes in the containment cell were mandatory. Of course, none of this would stop the creature if anyone somehow saw its face. In order to solve that, Dr. Dan would need to continue his research. To find a method of subverting the creature's deadly glance, they needed to know exactly what they were dealing with. But how could they, when even a glance at a photo or video of the being meant certain death? A potential solution was proposed, creating an artistic representation of Whoa. the creature's face, something that hadn't yet been attempted. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to do something first. Let's just continue the React video. Simple. They procure a D-class prisoner with some artistic talent. And they found one who had been a tattoo artist before a becoming tattoo? a foundation guinea. Artist? Dr. Dan formulated an ingenious a tattoo artist? for keeping wow. his D-class alive for long enough to accurately draw an image of SCP-096's face. Whoa. He would be placed in a bathysphere diving bell several kilometers under the tens of kilometers away from the containment site where the SCP hmm. was being held. The D-class was made to look at a photograph of the creature's face, and then replicate that image in a pencil sketch. Dr. Dan first confirmed that the creature's attack mode is activated by the creature's face by having the D-class look at a series of photos of the SCP's body parts, one by one, finally finishing the creature's face. The D-class began drawing and even remarked on how creepy the SCP's facial features were, yeah. despite not knowing the deadly yeah. context. Meanwhile, back Let's in just continue, guys. SCP-096 sensed someone viewing its face uh. and entered its inconsolable crime state, followed by its attack mode. It broke out of containment easily and began making a beeline for the D-Class, traversing the miles between it and its prey. The D-Class wow. didn't know it as he locked the finished drawing into a separate, autonomous submersible, but he was already dead. As the drawing made its way up to a researcher on the surface, SCP-096 dived into the water and started swimming down towards the artist. Minutes later, the bathysphere was breached. So, if they see a big, uh, like a drawing of his face, he will still kill you. Recovery team Foxtrot 303A. Whoa, nice. And further testing on the drawing showed that artistic representations of SCP-096 were in fact harmless. From this experience, it's not harmless. We now know that the creature has a gaunt face with this totally harmful. bright eyes, possibly indicating blindness and a gross blindness. Jaw. jaw. Nevertheless. Dr. Dan was adamant that SCP-096 was too dangerous to be left alone. Kill him. And requested permission from the upper echelons of the Foundation to terminate the creature by any means. You guys summon the rake! The doctor's request would fall on deaf ears. Until it all started with a seemingly innocent image. image. While it's now been redacted for your safety. The black speck inside the yellow circle was once a minuscule image of SCP-096, taken unknowingly in the 1990s by a semi-professional mountaineer. One day they were looking at old photographs when his eyes passed over the tiny speck without even noticing that he had seen anything. But SCP-096 noticed and began entering its attack mode. It tore through its steel containment unit okay. like tissue paper, yeah. causing the release of a nerve agent oh that killed God. a number of attending Foundation staff. The monster then fled the base he and began to pursue his prey. Mobile task force. He threw him! Oh, I thought he was gonna turn him. To him. The this guy, SCP was Limby. Was in dismay. Why are they their limbs not gone? Dan was out of control at the time, trying to discover more about the creature. Ignore the other voices, please. The mobile task force with a new secret army against the rampaging Shinder. Project Scramble. Scramble were state-of-the-art goggles. Hold on, guys. 
I'm, I have some business to do. Ignore my little brother. He's so annoying. Technology created by Dr. D. Hold on, guys. Artistic renditions of 096's facial features to detect and scramble the features of SCP-096 into an unrecognizable form, preventing the normally deadly effect of gazing upon its face. Wow. This would allow MTF Tal-1 to engage safely with 096 once its prey had been eliminated and bring it back into containment. But disaster struck on two fronts. First, the prey in question was located in a population center, creating the potential for a huge loss of life. And the second bigger problem was that the scramble technology didn't work, as stray pixels of the creature's face would reach the eyes of the task force before the internal microprocessor had time to scramble them. The mission turned into a death sentence, as SCP-096 slaughtered almost the oh my God. Force, as well as a number of civilians in town, including an infant and its entire family. It was a monumental disaster, made even worse oh. by a final revelation. Dr. Dan and Dr. Alexei had themselves facilitated the entire containment breach and allowed the resulting massacre to happen. Dr. Dan hoping it would be enough motivation for Foundation Command to greenlight his research Destroy into the strange the creature. creature. He summoned the rage! The opportunity to kill this thing would be worth the bloodshed. His plan worked, and the SCP Foundation saw it his way approving his request to neutralize SCP-096. However, success comes at a cost for Dr. Dan. Once he figures out a way to finally kill the creature, though done in his line of duty, he himself will be terminated by the Foundation for his crimes against humanity. But considering how much damage SCP-096 is capable of causing if it ever got to a major population center, or even worse, was ever caught on camera and broadcast to a worldwide audience, the doctor himself would likely deem his own death a justifiable cause. To this day, the Hold on, guys. Let's just continue on the video. And they're still looking for their silver bullet. And the pressure is on. They hadn't known about the seemingly they hadn't innocent, known picture about the that seemingly the innocent last creature. Match, the one taken decades ago, in they which the shy guy him. had only occupied four tiny pixels. Four tiny pixels that resulted in multiple innocent lives lost. Whoa. So be careful where you look, because who knows how many other photos of the creature are lurking out there. Photos with an innocent dot in the background. Your eyes glance over it. Not even I don't have a dot in my photo. You hear a distant wailing that seems to be getting closer and closer and closer. And then, it's already too late. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Let's... Bye!